Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Adventures and Experiences. On today's episode, we are going to explore the village of White Collar in Lancashire, England. We are definitely looking forward for this one, so prepare your beverage and let's get started. We started the day by parking our car in the White Collar Country Park. This is supposed to be a hidden gem because it has a lot of nice things that we really want to show you. Now, the car park is fairly large. It has a machine to pay for your ticket. It's actually one pound for the whole day. It is cashless, so you can either pay by card, contactless, or you can actually <laughs> download an app or give them a call and input um, your registration plate. Good luck if it worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually struggled with that. So we had to, we tried to pay contactless. The machine was out of order. We got in the car, we rang a number and there was a robot that came on the phone, like, basically like an automatic response. And we tried to say verbally our registration plate. It didn't get it right. Yes or no? Yes and finally after about is it 10 to 15 minutes yeah yeah 10 to 15 minutes the robot got the registration plate right and we managed to pay one pound and 10 pence admin fee using the keypad on your telephone enter the parking location number enter the number of days you wish to park for anyway we've done it now we're here there are a lot of other uh, cars it's quite busy today actually so what we will do is we're going to walk for about five to eight minutes to the village and we'll give you some more information there so we are going to walk uh, that way on the right. We're yes, taking the we're going right. To exit the car park, and yeah. at this point where we're walking, there are there is no access for any cars, so you actually have to walk. You don't have a choice. Okay, so where do we go, Alex? Is it right? Yes. Right. Come with us as we head over into White Collar Village. a bit about where we're going. The hamlet of White Collar, which comes from the Anglo-Saxon word Wick Aller, which means dairy farm among the older trees, is actually a pretty village in the county of Lancashire, four miles east of the town of Colne. So we've already walked for about three to four minutes and in 300 yards we should be expected to arrive in the village. I've noticed a lot of uh be aware crime uh, signs around the area and uh, be aware thieves uh, in the car park uh, so just something to keep in mind yeah. just be careful maybe in the car park don't put items of like value. value items don't show on display uh, I'm not sure why exactly and, and we've seen a police uh, patrolling as well yeah police car yeah so I'm not sure it looks like a small village and it's really beautiful but uh, I don't know what kind of crime happened here maybe before. maybe the crime is high yeah. here because I've seen so many signs already so at least I saw five six definitely when we when I did some research you didn't mention anything about crime so that's something new but we wanted to make you aware so we've just arrived in the village and the first thing that we saw was white collar Beck a small stream smaller than a river that passes through the whole village and is crossed by seven bridges from the 15th century the white collar area was a sheep farming and weaving community but the invention of power looms later on, which is essentially a piece of machinery that threads fabric and textiles together, that essentially led to the village's decline. So the population of white collar peaked at 350 in about uh, the year 1820. From then, people started moving into towns closer to the mills and essentially a lot of the houses were abandoned, leading to its decline. Due to the weavers moving to live in nearby towns closer to the mills, over 35 houses were abandoned. After walking over the bridge, we have now arrived at White Polar Hall. The last person who lived here was a keen gambler, and actually he gambled away all his money and ended up dying heavily in debt. Over time, 
people started taking these stones from the hall to build, to rebuild homes or other constructions, and the house fell in ruins. High Collar is probably famous for its connection with the famous writer Charlotte Bronte and her famous novel Jane Eyre. It actually featured as Ferndine Manor in her book. So right next to White Collar Hall, we're almost reaching the end of the attractions here of things to see, is a visitor center, but apparently it's not in use anymore. So you can see inside there's nothing. It had the country park map, so at least hopefully you can still make some use out of this. Like for example, what's the direction to the car park and what else you can see. There are some public toilets as well, but besides that there isn't much, there isn't much to see or do inside unfortunately, so you can just enjoy the walk further. center there are the public toilets so you can use them uh, and there are also there's an expansive area for grabbing a picnic to be honest if you want something like a low-cost fun day out on a good weather hopefully you can bring a picnic from home buy a beverage from the cafe nearby and pay the one pound for parking and that's it this is the last point now you can continue your day out by walking through the country park taking pictures breathing the fresh air and just enjoy your day but wait this is not the end of the video. It is not. There is a bonus. So we took our car from White Collar Country Park. We drove about five minutes and we arrived here. <laughs> what is this, you may ask? I can hear you asking. This is called the Atom. It is a panopticon. Now, a panopticon is an art sculpture and it's one of the four panopticons created for Lancashire. They are spread out across four different areas and we came to one of them. This is actually a viewing point, by the way, so we can actually go inside and it, has, it acts like a shelter as well. So if it's bad weather, you can sit inside. It used to have a steel ball. However, due to vandalism, and I think you can see behind me some graffiti, they actually, it got removed by the council. So, here I am. I don't know if you can hear any echo, but if you sit inside, you can see Pendle Hill in the distance, a bit of white collar. And if you don't want to park your car here like we did, you can actually walk from White Collar Country Park through the greenery and arrive here. 